Hi there and welcome to this origami design tutorial where we'll be talking about formations. Formations are frame by frame animations that can be controlled in a wide variety of ways. You can either control them by your finger, like dragging up on the screen as I'm doing in this case, or dragging down to go back through the frames. You may um, use a hotspot to start a formation and play it like this. I have a hotspot that says start to play this formation when I tap it and it plays through it. It may also be used so that as long as I hold my finger on the screen, the formation plays, as you can see in this case. So now that we've seen what it can do, let's see how you do it. We go up here to the formation tool. As you see, I get a box on my screen. Uh, this box will automatically resize itself to the size of your formation, so you don't have to do anything about that. You go up to this uh, little wheel up here and hit import. And here you see I have all the frames that I want to be in my formation. So I select all of these frames and hit choose. It's important that all of the images are the exact same size around so that it doesn't start moving unless that's what you want. If you just want it to stay in one place, it has to be the same size every single image and it's just your animation that's moving. So now that we have our animation on the stage, we have a couple of options for how we want to play it. We can choose to play it from frame one to the last frame. As you can see here is all the frames I have. I have a total of 126 frames for this formation. So I can play it from one to 126. I can loop it. I can play it back and forth. I can play it from frame one to the last frame and make it uh, stay on the last frame. These next four ones are ways to control it by moving your fingers. These are set for having a hotspot and tap on the hotspot to make something happen. These four are for um, controlling it with your finger. This is uh, if you want to hide it before. <coughs> FPS is frames per second so you can choose how fast you want your uh, formation to go, you can either set it to 1, which is the lowest, or you can set it as high as 60 FPS, which is the highest. You can uh, choose if you want it to autoplay when it gets on screen, if you want it to loop. Um, on screen center means that no matter where you are um, on the page, this will pop up on the center of the screen. Deceleration is um, if you have something that you're controlling by touch, say you want to spin this with your finger. As soon as you drag it and you have deceleration on, it will start slowing down towards the towards the end. Remember state is that uh, it will remember where in the frames it was when you left the screen. <coughs> um, down here you have um, a touch area, which is a definable area of the screen that you can, uh, can set. As you see up here now, uh, I'm getting this red box, so if I set this bigger, um, now it's so big so it's outside of the frame itself, but um, this is basically the area inside of a formation that you can touch with your finger, so uh, if you have a frame a formation that's covering the whole screen but you only want to be able to touch little part of it to play the formation you can define that here so you can define how big you want the touch area to be and you can also define um, if you want to control them by x and y um, coordinates like this so right now I have this red area is where I can control this formation if I say I want to play this vertical pan top to bottom it means that if I drag down inside of this red box, I will go through the frames. I suggest that you just play around with these various options and, uh, and learn how to know them. Remember, you can also put frames, <coughs> triggers on frames. 
Um, so there's a lot of options to, uh, to go through there. Remember, if you want more tutorials, subscribe to our site as we publish continually.